What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 boost to the top session. And my rating is absolute garbage because I use this ladder as my personal trash can for trash teams. Uh, and today, today, we got some news. First of all, uh, we got the news that tomorrow there will be a Pokemon Direct that is 20 minutes long. Personally, I'm hoping to see the next game in the franchise. It's always really nice to see uh, a brand new game come out, especially when there's, you know, like Pokemon not in this game that could have been in this game. Hoping to get some news regarding that, but <laughs> the other news we got is we finally have the code for the Sing Pikachu, which is what we're using today. We're going to be using Sing Raichu. As soon as I got it in game, I was like, okay, let's train this bad boy up. Let's put him on a lapdog team to try to get the most use out of him. And let's just see what we can do with it. So let me go ahead and grab it. It is on Team Lamau. It is good to go. And please tell me it's legal. Okay, good. It's legal. It's legal. We can actually use Sing Raichu on the ladder. So if you guys want to do me a favor, if you enjoy this video at any point in time, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day. How good do you think Sing Raichu is going to be? Are you going to be terrified of facing it all day long? Or are you just going to be like... No, nah, I don't care. I don't care. Because let me remind you, safety goggles will not protect you from this thing. Also, be sure to check out the link to my merch store down below. We have two days left on my 20,000 subscriber special edition merch, and then it's going to be gone forever. And yeah, it's, it's really sick. It's very stylish. I've ordered my own sample. So yeah, it, it annoys me. I have to pay for my own sample, but <laughs> it's whatever. Okay, as we face... Really interesting team. Once again, I'm like super low ladder because this is my personal garbage can of a ladder. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and lead off Raichu and try to land a sing immediately. This isn't uh, this isn't as much about winning as it is about uh, sending a message. You know, this is this isn't about winning. This is sending a message now. Um, I actually feel really comfortable leading off Raichu Lapras with this. I almost want Spectre, and Spectre isn't bad to be honest, um, but I don't think I'm gonna do that actually. So Raichu Laprasation in the back, and I think my last Pokemon. Uh, I'd be hard-pressed to find a reason to bring Arcanine to this matchup. I could bring Clefairy, and I actually think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go Clefairy here. And I could also go Spectre. I don't have Snarl on my Spectre, though. At least I don't think I do. I'm pretty sure I'm Will-O-Wisp. I'm like 90% sure I'm Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, I'm Will-O-Wisp. Um, I might swap that out for Snarl eventually, but we'll go Clefairy because of that. It'll end up being really useful in the end, I'm sure. And all we have to do now is land a 60% accurate move, and this video will have been entirely worth it. We just have to do that once. If we do that once, this video is worth it. I'm hoping not to see a Raichu lead. That'd be very annoying. So they go Grim Snarl Articuno. Okay, all right, I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing here. And let me tell you something, son. I don't really care. I don't really care. Um, assuming they're gonna die, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the sing on that thing, uh, and I'm also just gonna go for the Dynamax. I'm gonna get my res. I'm gonna get my resonance up on the Grim Snarl. If I can put this Articuno to sleep, all of this will have been worth it. If he fakes out my Raichu and just knocks it out this turn with a Max Mindstorm, I will be disappointed. But I will understand that I got what was coming to me because <laughs> I'm running sing. This is gonna be quite the interesting video. I can tell you guys already. But yeah, uh, if you don't know what the code for Sing Raichu is, it's just like P25 music, but music is spelled with a 1. As they do not Dynamax, they do not Dynamax, but that's fine. I was expecting them to Dynamax there to try to get like a weakness policy. I'm assuming they're like light screen weakness policy, but it's whatever. I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't get Nasty Plot either. I'm not certain. It could be Calm Mind though. If it's Calm Mind, I'm cool with what I just did. And I connect my sing. This video was worth it. All of this was worth it. <laughs> this entire video was worth it. Are they going to go for a spirit break? I don't really care. I'm out speeding them because they do have a decent amount of speed investment on this, uh, on this Lapras. Oh, this is funny. This is really funny. What are they going to go for? Thunder wave? No, they shouldn't do that because I have lightning rod. Spirit Break? Yeah, there's the Spirit Break. I'm gonna go ahead and put you to sleep now. I'm gonna... I'm willing to bet... Well, you crit me. I'm willing to bet I can put you to sleep now. 
I'm willing to bet good money on that. Let me let me do this real quick. Let me go for that sing on your Grim Snarl. Let me go for that G Max Resonance on your Articuno. I just need this Articuno not to wake up. That'd be great. There's the light screen. Makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. As I miss my sing, unfortunately. Not that I didn't already, you know, pretty much secure a win. Uh, let's see how much this does. If this does enough, I won't even go for a sing next turn. I'll just go ahead and Thunderbolt into the uh, Articuno to KO. It looks like it's within range of Thunderbolt. Uh, so, how much is the Grim Snarl at? Grim Snarl is not going to get knocked out. I'll actually just go for another sing. I'll go for another sing and I'll go for a G Max Resonance. Or actually, there's no reason to. I'll just go for a Max Geyser. That should do it. As they go for Reflect. Reflect on your actions before you fall asleep, sir. 60% baby! <laughs> or is it 55? No, it's 55% accuracy. That's funny. That is very funny. They said, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Be gone. That's fine. Raichu did what he needed to do. I'm good with this outcome. As we do finally see their Life Orb Articuno. <laughs> this has been a funny, funny video. Already, this has been a very funny video. And I have a pretty good Palkia matchup. I mean, friggin' we're Life Orb on our Lapras, so a Freeze Dry, even if they Dynamax, it's gonna be doing a ton of damage. I can even get in the Clefairy here if I wanted to, but I think I'd rather just get in Zacian to put on some offensive pressure. And there's the Palkia. I think my play here is to... They're not going to knock me out, regardless of what they go for. I'm just going to go for a Substitute and a Freeze Dry. Yeah, because if they target into the Lapras, I get a free sub up, which is perfectly fine by me. Uh, I'll Freeze Dry this Palkia. If they wake up with the Grimstar and go for a Thunder Wave, I'll be disappointed. <laughs> They're probably Weakness Policy Palkia, too. I'm also pretty sure that um, in the rain, they would do a ton of damage. Oh, I get a free Substitute up. Hell yeah. Check it. Free Substitute. Alright, and now I am perfectly fine going for a Behemoth Blade into that Grim Snarl. Or I could even protect here, assuming they're going to try to break it. But I'd rather just get rid of Grim Snarl now. I'll go for my Freeze Dry into the Palkia. They haven't Dynamaxed yet, so I'm assuming the Palkia would want to Dynamax sometime soon. Unless they have something better to Dynamax in the back. And it looks like they don't. I'm definitely not going to get KO'd by a Max Lightning if they're running it. I'm, I'm not, I don't even know if Palkia gets Max Lightning, but regardless of what they do, they're not going to knock out this Lapras. And I'm going to get a Freeze Dry off. And even though they have screens up, I'm going to say this is going to do about 30 to 40%. There's the Behemoth Blade. Nice. So we get rid of the Sleeping Grim Snarl. Call that a Max Snooze. And they do go for a Max Wormwind, which does make sense. That does make sense. That is a very good play by them. They're going to do a decent amount of damage to my Lapras. And they're going to decrease the attack stat on my Zacian. Which I don't think I care too much. Because they might still be in range of like close combat or something. Alright, that did a lot. That did a lot. So what I can do here is actually get in the Clefairy. Assuming they're just going to Wormwind again. And that leaves me with two Fairy types in the field. As they have a Ferrothorn. Um, yeah, I'm going to say it's my best interest just to start clicking close combat. And get in the Clefairy. Because they should just Wormwind once more. Okay. Let's get this close combat off. Doesn't do too much because of the uh, Veil and the Dynamax. But they should Wormwind again. 
As they quake, okay. Actually, a really solid play by them. I survived, though. Critical hit. I was gonna say, that looked like it did a little bit too much. And I'm assuming they're just gonna, like, body press or leech seed or something here. It's the gyro ball. Makes sense. Alright. Uh, their dynamic should be ending here soon. They're just gonna quake again. I'm gonna go for a substitute, or I guess I just double protect, right? Or, or I could protect and get in the Lapras. And that'll give me plus one on my, on my Zacian again. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to protect and get in the Lapras. And that gives me plus one on the Zacian, which will make the Ferrothorn match a bit easier in the end game. So they go for a Quake into the Lapras. It does KO. That's fine. And they Gyro Ball. Rain stops, which is good news for me. I'm gonna get a Mizashi on here. I'm really tempted to go for a... Um, I'm really tempted to go for a Substitute here. Or even just to protect. Because I feel like they would want to protect their Palkia here. And try to get the KO. Um, I suppose what I could try to do is... If I get a substitute up, I actually don't gain much. I think my play here is to close combat Ferrothorn and Helping Hand it. Assuming they're going to protect the Palkia. Because a Gyro Ball would probably knock out my Clefairy. I think they have to protect Palkia here. If I get this wrong, I lose, but... Ah, uh, dang. This might be bad. They didn't protect the Palkia. And I don't even knock out the Ferrothorn. Dang it, I just lost. I just threw right at the end. There's the Iron Barbs, too. Earth Power. That really sucks. Oh, well. I mean, at least we we got to use the Sing Raichu. I just really thought they would protect the Palkia there. Dang, I definitely could have just close combat of the Palkia there. And follow Mead. Ah, oh well. It's, it's whatever. Alright, we'll run there. We'll do, uh, we'll do another battle. We'll do another battle. I want to see how much Sing Raichu can pull off. Because landing a Sing at the right time is just really funny. <laughs> just a 55% accurate move that bypasses Substitute. Because it's a sound-based move. It's so dumb. It's such a dumb move conceptually. Wow, okay. I am I feel like I need to just do a live stream where I use an actual team for once in ladder. I definitely need to do that. I need to, I need to like, just make a live streaming session where I'm just like, hey guys, today's the day I fix my ranking. Today's the day I actually care. <laughs> okay, as we face another Palkia, um, and once again, this is actually, like, just a really good game for Raichu because it outspeeds everything on their team and doesn't care about Reggie Alecki outspeeding it, so we can do that. Matter of fact, I can actually just go Raichu Lapras again and be perfectly fine. Uh, Zacian in the back, and I think we'll go... We can go Clefairy again. We really could. We could also go Spectre, though. I, I don't see much of a reason in bringing Arcanine at all. Yeah, I'm going to go Clefairy again. Yeah, that's fine. I'm really hoping in the direct they announce like, hey, we are doing some kind of Diamond and Pearl remake, but we're also going to patch all of the remaining Pokemon into the game starting today. And then we get like a huge content drop for the game out of nowhere. That'd be amazing. I would really love that. And it would also make sense why the next format is going back to Series 7 rules, because it wouldn't exactly be Series 7. It would just be 
Series 7 Plus, which would add so many new Pokemon that it would be a completely different format, pretty much. As they go Togekiss Palkia, I can live with that. There is very little on this field that threatens me. There is very little on this field that threatens me. I'm going to go for that raw freeze dry into the Palkia. I'm not even going to Dynamax. Uh, and I'm also going to go for a Sing. I'm going to go for that Sing. And the raw freeze dry. I could Dynamax, but I, I just personally don't see it being worth it. Is it? Actually, it's probably very worth it now that I really think about it. I'll just Dynamax. We'll just go for the turn one Dynamax into the uh, into this Togekiss. I'm not going to fake out. The fake out would be so obvious. They're like, I'm going to dodge that fake out by going for this Dynamax. And then I'm like, ha, silly. And then I sing. Sing him a little song. What do you think uh, What do you think Raichu stings here? I, 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 like, I don't know. Raichu has a very talented voice. I'm going to assume that it just goes like, Brass Monkey, that funky mon You know that song, Brass Monkey? It was it was like a meme for like a week. And I liked it, because Brass Monkey is just a funny song. Alright, as I Dynamax here, let's see if they follow me. If they don't follow me, I'll be really happy, because <laughs> I just get so much out of the turn by connecting the sing. And even if, even if they do follow me, I don't think they gain too much. And I miss my sing, unfortunately. They don't follow me. They go for the max quack. The max quack. Uh, and if they go for a Dazzling Gleam, I'll be disappointed. I'm hoping they just like Air Slash or something stupid. I'd like one more opportunity to put you to sleep, please. G-Max Resonance. This is Life Orb boosted. It may KO, depending on the Togekiss' spread. That's a very slow Togekiss, by the way. It's probably just like max HP. Max HP, max special attack. Hopefully like an Air Slash or something, not a Dazzling Glee. And okay, there goes Raichu. So no Sing for us this game. No Sing for us this game, but uh, we're not in a bad spot either. Let me get in my Clefairy here. And I think I'll actually just go for a Protect here. As well as... Oh, dang, I just lost my Lightning Rod user so early. That sucks. If there's a Reggie Lucky, I'm in trouble. Uh, I guess I would go for the Max Geyser here. Since that should KO Togekiss. Let's go for an Ally Switch. Evil. Evil game. Alright, I suppose I'm clicking Max Resonance forever. <laughs> and I can just Helping Hand this next one. There's not really a reason to follow me when I can just boost the damage. Go for the max resonance on the Palkia. I don't even care about this Togekiss, man. I bet you they're just going to ally switch again. Nope, helping hand? Okay. wonder what they're going for here, because, uh... Or I guess, I guess they would need a helping hand to KO the, the Clefairy here. Yeah, so there goes Clefairy. I think I'm just going to take two L's today, to be honest. Another, another session where I'm just, like, losing... Alright, let me get in the Zacian. Uh, I can just go for a Substitute here, assuming they're gonna, you know, ally switch and attack. I could also Protect, though. I really don't lose much by Protecting. And what I'm actually gonna do here is, I'm, I'm gonna assume they're gonna ally switch. So I'm gonna Freeze Dry into that, Clef uh, not the Clefairy. I'm gonna Freeze Dry into that Togekiss. Assuming a Palkia will be there next turn. Come on.
Come on, tell me I got it right. Nope, follow me. That's fine. So they go for the Earth Power. And Freeze Dry should KO now. Yeah. You know, I'm beginning to think maybe Substitute was the play there, because I'd be able to protect the next turn on what I assume is going to be a Regieleki. Yeah, is that even possible to get Regieleki with a Mark? I don't think it is. That's a little annoying. Um, what I can do here is... Do I still have screens up? I still have one turn of screens up. I think my play is to... Close combat here into the Regieleki and hope I just survive with my Lapras. And go for the Freeze Dry into the Palkia. As they protect. Okay, that's fine. I think I can take an Earth Power. No, they just double protect. Okay, smart play, smart play. Ah, I could have substituted. If I substitute there, isn't a really good spot. Alright, let me think about this. Um, I think my play here is CC the Regieleki and hope that they're not Sash and go for a Protect with my Lapras. Because I think Lapras might be my endgame Pokemon. I think that's like how I have to win this one, if I have a chance. Rising Voltage, okay. Now, I'm not going to be able to take this Earth Power, but if I do KO this Regieleki, that's really good. Okay, it wasn't Focus Sash, so depending on what's in the back, I may be able to win this with the Lapras alone. As they go for a Hydro Pump and miss, why wouldn't you just Earth Power there? That made no sense. There was no reason not to just... Okay, I, th I, I might win now. I might win now. There was no reason not to just Earth Power. The Shivering. Oh, Zapdos, okay. Um... I mean... How do I do this? I should... Hypothetically... I think I just try to KO the Zapdos here. I could substitute and try to attack. Let me think. So if I substitute and freeze dry into this. Yep, okay. That worked. <laughs> I was like, I feel like they're going to expect me to go for a Behemoth Blade. So if I just avoid doing that, <laughs> I should be fine. As they go for the Earth Power. And I survive. Because of this awesome substitute. I guess I could have protected as well, but I was trying to get, like, a, a bigger net gain there. Freeze dry. As that does KO. Nice. And I should always just win now by going for Behemoth Blade into freeze dry. Because they're definitely not Assault Vest Zapdos. They could be Focus Sash, but I always get two attacks off regardless of who they target. And that should be game. All right, cool. <laughs> we actually managed to uh, to win one for once. I'm I don't know what's with me this season. I like this format, and I I usually do pretty well like on showdown, but in game I just can't play. I just can't play for some reason. But yeah, uh, now we have a Sing Raichu with that thing on its on its chest. You know that that little ribbon. So. At the very least, we got to use some funny Sing Raichu shenanigans. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. Answer my comment question of the day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.